Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. So, part one of my stash video. Uh, as you know, I am having a big sort out uh, and trying to tidy my craft room up at the moment. Uh, and I've always kept my completed diamond paintings in these storage folders. Uh, I've got A2, A3, um, 12 by 12 like scrapbook folder A4 and then the little tiny A5 size one. Nearly all of these I've had from Amazon. Uh, the little ones definitely. Uh, this is the new one that I've just got. Well, I bought, I think it was a pack of five or six. and there are 40 pockets so rather than the standard sort of 20 that you get with a lot of them these are actually 40 so you've got 80 sides now if you're just putting diamond paintings in them that aren't completed you can normally fit you know more in but once they've got the drills on particularly special drill ones if you're storing them you don't get as many in uh, and they get exceptionally heavy as well when they're full of diamond paintings and as again particularly completed diamond paintings as I, say, I can never believe how heavy they are don't ask me why it's just one of those little things that i just think wow this is so heavy why is it so heavy and it's, like, it's covered in lots of little plastic beads and they do weigh quite a bit <laughs> So these are the folders that I've got. Um, I'm still in the process of doing this. I also bought some extra uh, pages as well. They won't fit into the books, but I just thought it would be nice to have some extras that if I've just maybe got one to stick into a folder, I can just put the one into a fo uh, into one of these plastic pockets. Uh, the A3 protector pack again, this was from Amazon. Um, and then, you know, I can just have it or if I'm working on one or halfway through one, they're quite nice as like a bit of a storage as well. So I think these were from Amazon. I'm just thinking now, or did I get them from the works or somewhere? Not quite sure. That's come off. I wonder if I took that off. I'll double check. I'll put uh, all the details and the links down below. So if you do want to get them or go and have a look at them, you can do. So yeah, that's the folders that I've got. These are the style things that I used to have, which are just literally like the pocket style portfolio um, carry handles at one end. And you just literally put all your paintings in a pile. Uh, these are all double-sided tape canvases that I've got that I've just popped in here for now. And uh, yeah, I'll be sorting those out later because obviously they don't fit in an A3, albeit they are more or less 30 by 40 paintings. Um, yeah, 30 by 40. I was just thinking that says 35, but it's 35 colours, Liz, 30 by 40. But because they've got the extra bits on the end, then uh, these tend not to fit into those folders. They would go in an A2, but I find that's a bit of a waste putting them in an A2. So yeah, they're in here still for now. Uh, until I decide what I'm doing with them. But what I was finding was, I forget what canvases I've got and what wonderful canvases that I've got. Um, so I really want them so I can flick through and when I'm deciding which canvas I want to do, like when I did my 30 by 40 challenge earlier in the year, um, you know, I was just flicking through and possibly just taking the ones off the top. And because I'd been taking them in date order, then all the older ones were getting left at the bottom. <laughs> So having them in these folders, I can just flick through like a book. And if one day I just fancy coming up to my craft room and just sitting and looking through all the ones I've got, great. As I say, I think uh, diamond painting is two separate hobbies, actually diamond painting and putting the gems on and collecting the diamond paintings. So yeah, I've got nice display books for my collections now. <laughs> so that one is empty at the moment. Uh, and then these are full ones. These are um, Amazon and AliExpress. What I've done is actually put them into like groups of like um, ones that are like fan cells, FG Normal, uh, GBFKE, Paint Somewhere. I've put them all into a separate folder if it's sort of like um, if it's one that I've got quite a few paintings from them. Fan cells, I've been buying from them the longest. They were the first company that I actually bulk bought diamond paintings from um, and then the others are ones that I've bought some of my own as well so I've now put my own in with any PR ones that I've received as well uh, but these are like a lot of my older canvases or some of the newer ones that I've 
bought myself uh, mainly from Amazon, AliExpress and uh, recently Timu as well. So I thought you might like to see them. Gosh, I've just been waffling on for about five minutes about nothing really. <laughs> Um, I'm going to split this into sections because the videos will end up too long. I have also got my A2 and I've got a huge A1 folder as well. Um, if you saw my unboxing recently on my beautiful Art Dot um, storage folder, which they are more money than uh, the others, the plain black ones or the different coloured ones that you can get. But... It is an exceptional quality and it's just so much easier to use as well. Uh, and so this is like a combination because it's got a handle, but you're also seeing them all separately as well. Um, so I have got the A1 size of this. So now I can put my bigger paintings in it. And again, there's quite a few in there that I'd forgotten I had because they've just been all in a great big A1 folder, all just piled up on top of one another and underneath my mattress to keep them flat. So when I got it out, I thought, oh, I'd forgotten I'd got that one. Oh, I'd forgotten I'd got that one. So, yeah, I want to be able to see them all now. I have also got far too many as well. These are all just completed little uh, diamond paintings. I will do a separate video on uh, completions, but yeah, that's just some very small ones. Ones that I'm going to make cards out of. Um, and I have bought a separate one of these now to put some of the smaller paintings in because um, I have got a few of those in these books that I want to put in there as well. Yeah, I am looking at doing um, a de-stash and I'm not quite sure how to do it how to do it when your diamond paintings love you so much that they jump off the shelf and land on your lap <laughs> yeah i am looking at doing this deep stash last year um i actually did mystery bags well boxes mystery bags where i put uh, five or six paintings they were mainly full drill um, some 30 by 30s, mainly 30 by 40s, uh, and I charged, I think it was £6, uh, including postage, and it was just literally to de-stash a little bit. Now, whether I'm going to do something similar to that, I'm not sure. It would probably have to be £7 this year, because postage has gone up quite a bit. Um, or whether I'm going to put them onto a de-stash group i'm not sure uh, let me know in the comments you know would you be interested in mystery boxes uh, or would you prefer me to just put them individually priced i mean i would probably only charge maybe one or two pound for the paintings uh, plus postage if i did it that way um just really to de-stash get some money back in as well so that i can start buying other diamond paintings as well and do it that way and other projects that i want to do um, and I really do need to get my craft room sorted out. I'm thinking I'm going to have to maybe get an L-shaped desk. So, yeah, that's something else I'm saving up for. So, yeah, that's the purpose of the D-stash. Plus, as well, I do need a bit more space because this room is just getting fuller and fuller and fuller and everything's getting smaller and smaller and smaller where I can walk. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at these. So, I'll look at the small ones first. What I've done with these actually um, is I've put the 30 by 30 and smaller. I've got all the full drill in one side and I've put at the other end, I've put all these special drills. Yay! <laughs> so I'll just quickly go through them. I won't go through all the details of them. Some of them, I think the companies maybe don't even exist anymore. Uh, that was an Ant King one from uh, Amazon. And that's just a little 30 by 30. I've actually had that one since November 21. Uh, yeah, I did find some paintings that are quite old as well. So it just shows how long I've had some of them. Um, I do need to get this one done. Uh, it, I think I bought it after the Halloween um, in 21. So oh, coming up nearly two years if... Yeah, if, if the next few months go as fast as the last few months. Yeah, um, because it's a little bit Christmassy as well. Although he's got like his witch's hat on and his little black cat and his broom. These are like holly leaves going around the edge and it's in uh, green. So I was thinking I could probably do this one um, as like Christmas Halloween anyway. Uh, and my idea was I was going to put these as crystals and the little red um, possible berries here. 
uh, as crystals as well so it did look like it had holly berries around but as you can see it's still sat here waiting to do uh oh then i had a space here because i do i don't shovel shuffle them all up once i've done one i don't then shuffle them all up i leave it so i end up with gaps so that's the hedgehog that i recently unboxed now then these are some of the first paintings that i bought and oops And I've copied out the key codes ready to put on boxes to kit them up. This one is from February 2021. So this one is more than two years old. <laughs> and that's my little dachshund. And these all came from Cas Co Cosmolary. Uh, Cosmolary? Cosmolary. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-O-S-M-A-L-O-R-Y. Uh, yeah. So... These are ones that I really need to get gone. These were five ninety nine again, full drill. This is another one was set from Cosmallery, and that's the little Yorkshire Terrier again, thirty by thirty. And then the little pug again. So these were all part of. I got quite a few of them. Um, they were all rounds as well, and uh, yeah, from February twenty twenty one. So I've, I've forgotten I'd got these, even though I have actually copied out the key code ready to put on bottles, and um, to put them through. And then the last one is uh, my last Timu order, which is the little teensy tiny tiny uh, painting, which needs to go in my smaller folder because it looks silly in this great big folder here. Uh, oh. No, we've got a few more. It's not the last one. It's just that I've got one missing. Yeah, these are ones that I've done recently. I think they were probably my 30 by 40 challenge that I did. Uh, that one, I believe, came from Creator's Treasures, as did that one. They were... Oh, I'm not sure when I got those. I think it was this year. Um, I saw a TikTok unboxing of like a mystery box and uh, these two were in the mystery box so not particularly ones that i would have chosen but it was quite nice getting a mystery box and not knowing what you're getting so they were quite good uh, this one is from june 21 and this one is from september 21 uh, that's a gorgeous ladybird on a daisy i love that one and it's a little picture so sometimes it's nice just to have a smaller picture and um, to put somewhere in just a little space that you've got so yeah, I will get around to doing that one. I do like that. And then the poppies one, which had 40 colours. Yeah, that one just blew my mind. The fact that this is a little 25 by 30 picture and it's got 40 colours on it. That's uh, a lot of colour changing. So yeah, but again, I've had that one, well, from September 21. So that one's nearly two years as well. If you've been with me a long time, uh, you've probably seen all these unboxed because I have unboxed all of these on my channel. Uh, we've then got, uh, oh, these are from Goddess of Luck store. I believe these were from AliExpress. So I've got my little Westie. That's quite a popular painting. I've seen that in quite a few different uh, designs, as it were, rounds and squares and things. Um, this one is uh, just a partial. So it is just literally the Westie that has the colours on and it's 10 different ones. So that's pretty. I'll definitely get that one done. And then a little hedgehog. And you know how I like my hedgehogs. Uh, again a partial so it is just the hedgehog that has the uh, drills on it and that one's only eight colours so yeah okay and then my two recent diamond art club ones which were the little bit smaller paintings uh, this one's 27.7 by 22.7 centimetres and this one it's like a 30 by well no actually it's a 20 well 22.7 by 22.7 so like a 23 by 23 centimetre painting. So yeah, I've still got those two to do. So that is all of my uh, smaller paintings at that side. And then the special drill ones. We've got this gorgeous fish, which I've had since February 2020. Uh, these are the sm three smaller paintings, which will go in my smaller little book. Um, these are all from October 2021. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, I need to get these done. Um, I think I got that one to do as a card for Hubby because he absolutely loves monkeys and orangutans and things like that. This one was a, a gift from one of my lovely friends. So that's the way it's not got any details on it because it was gifted to me. And uh, that's the sun and a moon in a, like a man, mandala style. Very, very pretty. Uh, this one is from February 
22 and January 22. So these are only just over a year old. And these were from the Dreams Come True store on AliExpress. Gorgeous snail and the stag. Again, I've seen that one quite a few different uh, types. And then this one was from November 21. We've gone back again. And September 21, I've done a cushion cover with uh, something similar to that on. So that's quite pretty as well. I like the fact that the background is like this pale lilac colour with your hummingbird and your flowers. And then this one's just big bold flowers. It's got some really big bold gems on it. So yeah, looking forward to doing that one. Okay. I think it was that one that, uh, let me just have a look. Uh, sorry, I've got, um, I've got these gems <laughs> and I'm just looking at it because there was something in the bag when it came. I thought there was a bug in the packet and it's from a long time ago. I could look back on my unboxings, but when I actually opened the packet in those days, I was brave enough to open the packet. Uh, yeah, it was just a piece of fluff. So it's E120. This is number 18. So this doesn't go up to 18. I was just wondering if it was maybe to go with this. Because for whatever reason, the drills have kept separated. Oh, it's got two on. No, but it's not got the right number on it. Um, the drills have been separated. And uh, I've not put them back in with the correct painting. So, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for the painting while I'm going through. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I can reunite the drills with the correct painting. Um, my next job is actually going through all the drills that I've got. I do keep them all in date order, um, in separate ones for like full drill, small, um, special drill, small, full drill, 30 by 40, special drill, 30 by 40. So they are in order, but I need to go through and check that I have got the right drill. <laughs> And then this one, uh, that's another dreams come true. I think I bought all those at the same time, did I? Uh, yeah, 8th of September 21. So that was the tree and the cockerel, which I just liked the idea of that with all the different colours. It's like a rainbow cockerel and uh, the, the little bird. I thought I'd ordered two of those, but I've only got one. So, mm -hmm. okay. You know, like a set of two. And that's that on those. So that's those ones. Oops, I just missed one. Um, I was going through just to see which uh, drills this one belonged to, uh, just to see if I could check. So it's going to have to be um, one of the special drill 30 by 40s. And I was looking for one that had 18, oh, well, over 18 numbers. And this one had a number 18, which is quite a large round. And then when I've looked on the packet, this does actually say E054. And that is the canvas number on here. Sorry, you can't see it, can you? E054. So I found where these drills go. They go with this lovely fox. So I can put those drills back in the correct place now. So I've had from February uh, last year, <laughs> I've had these hanging around, waiting to put them back together. <laughs> and now I can do it. And then my other book, these are my 30 by 40s, which is my favourite size to do, I have to say. Um, because I can get them done in sort of three or four nights or a week, depending on how long it takes, what style of painting it is. And I just love doing them. They're just my sort of sweet spot size, really. Uh, now then, this one is from June 21. So at the moment, the earliest one we've had is February 21. And this one was from the Bug and Bomb store on uh, Amazon, I believe. And then it came in a set of two. I believe that I used Vipon coupons for these. So this is how long I've been using Vipon coupons. <laughs> I've then got my Squid Games one, which I bought in October 21. Gosh, is it that long since Squid Games came out? Wow. Oh, I really enjoyed that series, if enjoyed is the right uh, thing to say about it. And I think that one was possibly AliExpress as well. I'm not sure. Okay, this is a fairly recent one. This was Jill oh, fairly recent. It's July last year, so it's a year old. Um, uh, let me just get you into shot better. That's it. And that was from Amazon. Uh, I think this one was from Amazon as well. Yeah, I think these were nearly all um, Vipon coupons when I was going through my phase of uh, using them. Oh, that one was... 
think this one was in a pack because I've put £2.22 uh, and that was from May 21 and my little owl November 21 that was the Beeman store and that's uh, when Beeman didn't use to put any of your DMC codes but I do need to check whether the packets had them on because I did find recently that although uh, my diamond painting didn't have any DMC numbers on it the packets did so I need to look at that that's my little bunny from April last year um, and I have got the have got the double sided tape version of this one as well so I was going to do a comparison of this one and the double sided tape one but again that's another one of my projects that I will get done eventually but it hasn't been done yet um, that one I just absolutely adore uh, 4.99 I think I must have paid a full price for that one because I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous it's a little boxer dog I've never met one that was sane yet they're absolutely well definitely my friends that have had a boxers have all been mad as a box of frogs what can I say but absolutely beautiful dogs just so sloppy love them uh this is um again Amazon oh, I've not put the price on that one and that was for July last year as well and this one's September 21 that's a lovely dog with the butterflies there and then the giraffe, um, if you remember with my first 30 by 40 challenge that I did last year, um, I actually gave away the giraffe painting and I think it was the lovely uh, Cindy Michelle diamond painting fanatics that uh, actually won it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's from August 22 because I ended up with two of them. So I actually uh, say did the challenge and that one of them was given away in a little um, happy mailbox. Okay, that's my little wise owl with his red glasses from September last year. Uh, this is one, I'm not quite sure when I got this. I don't know whether it was last year or the year before. It might have been last year because I had been doing um, one of like the school trees. I've got several different ones uh, and that was a new one that came out. I do believe it was last year um, and I did kit it up, but I've just not got around to doing it yet. So it's gone back in the folder for now so that it doesn't uh, get crumpled up. I am finding that um, although putting them in the folders where you just pile them all up into one big plastic folder keeps them flat. This is a lovely way of keeping them flat and you can view them really easily as well. So this is my way forward. Uh, let me know in the comments how you store your paintings. I know I have got a heck of a lot. Um, I am very much a person that once I start a hobby, I just go wholesale on it and do everything. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, the Halloween one that I recently got from uh, Timo. I think that was, yeah, July, so just this month I unboxed that one. Uh, we're back to November 21 with our little uh, zebra there with all the flowers. And then this one, I think this has been doing the rounds for a long time. This was August 22. I think this was in a pack of six that I got. Um and then that one is from April last year. That's the blue zebras. Thought that was quite nice. Again, it's a beaming one, so it hasn't got the DMC codes. I was gifted this one by the lovely Chris and uh, coffee because murdering is wrong. Uh, because murder is wrong. <laughs> it would read tea for me, but yeah, I think that's fabulous. Just love the expression on the cat's face. Oh dear. Uh, then I've got this one and um, this was from February 22. I think this was a pack of six different flower ones that I got. And then I've got my ladybird one from July 21. And then that one is June 22. This is last year. And it says in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And that's a gnome. And again, that's another one that I've had on the list to get done. Uh, this one I got in February 22 and I did actually have this one kitted up as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh, still here. <laughs> this was a pack of either four or six that I got that had a lot of animals in it. I think the um, little dog was in this one as well. These are from August last year, so not quite a year old yet. And that's all of those. So then we are on to the special drills. Now then, this was a set of three that I got. Uh, unicorn trio £5.49 it was these are special drills and this was July 21 so you've got the unicorn um, face which again is quite a popular one 
then you got the smaller unicorn with the rainbow and then you got the unicorn head is that facing the other way yeah i think so you got one one way one the other and then put the unicorn face in the middle it was like to do a set of three on the wall but as you can see i've still not got those done yet uh, this one was from September 21. That's a little Dachshund, which is absolutely gorgeous. I think most of these are Amazon. Um, that one is, where are we? September 21. And then this gorgeous tree is from September 21. And then this one, I think I must have sort of like, I don't know. Yeah, these are all the same time. So for whatever, no, there must have been AliExpress for me to have ordered all of these at the same time because they weren't a set they're all different paintings i love this one i do need to get this one done as i say because i've had them just all piled up i'd forgotten about this one uh, and when i've done all my other owls i'd forgotten i had him so he's definitely one that needs to get done uh, then this one is from january 22 that has just got so many drills this is like one of the uh, full drill pack full drill special drill no full special drill canvases uh, mindy mindy's diamond moments calls them bubble paintings because the background is all the same color but it's all slightly different usually two or three different sizes of gems in the background but he will be stunning when he's done i've got quite a few um and i've done quite a few of these as well but he is just absolutely gorgeous and then this was one that i got march last year which is just Oh, it's got an eye on it. It just drew me to it. I just had to have that one. So, yeah, the owl with the hypnotic eyes. And then you've just got another little eye lot watching it at the bottom. <laughs> and then the beautiful tiger from March 22. And then this pink CAT. It was the pink that drew me to it. Uh, and this is from September, I think. I think if I put September there. Could be 22, could be 23. Uh, no, I think it'll be 22. Uh, and again, lots of different gems on that one. And it's practically full drill. I mean, the, the whole of it is practically, apart from this little dark bit down here, is practically covered. Then I've got a set of two paintings, which are similar to like the quilling style paintings. Uh, this one's more sort of the quilling style. This one is just more of a flower, but I thought they were quite nice as a set together. These are from November 21. Oh my goodness. And then this one was gifted to me, which I meant to get done last Christmas and I ran out of time. So this one definitely will get done this Christmas because it's gorgeous. As I say, that was sent to me as a gift in a Happy Meal package. So absolutely love that one. And then I've just got two um, quite intricate ones to do to be fair which is this little bunny rabbit there's lots and lots of little tiny um, marquees and teardrops on this one to do uh, so it's your bunny rabbit which you know I love my bunnies and a Sheba and you and they were from F Gobi so I've put them together because they were all from the same place yeah so that's those okay right i'm going to finish this now for part one there's going to be several other parts coming as well but that's sort of the main bulk of uh, those paintings that i've showed you so as i say plenty more to come let me know what you think about um mystery boxes whether you would be interested or whether to just put them singly and um, there's quite a few facebook groups where uh, people sell them singly i mean i suppose i could do a video but then i want to try and make it fair to everybody really because uh, you know we've got different time zones and things and i don't want to be putting it up at a certain time and some people are in bed so don't get a chance to look or whatever uh, but they won't be auctioned i'm not putting them on any auction sites or anything um it is just literally a case of you know just covering postage and a little bit of costs and whatever uh, and a couple of quid extra money just so i can put them back into the channel and move on from there okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at this for part one of my stash if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you would like to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not gonna miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now